policy. We can't adjudicate foreign policy. Well, in the brief, they actually said, we recognize Israel has the right to self-defense. Bull crap. Think about that for a minute. You only have an Article 51 of the UN Charter. You only have the right to self-defense. Hell, everything from Geneva back. You only have the right to self-defense in the sense that you are righteous. That is, you are right in that defense. What are they defending against in Israel? They're defending against people who got tired of their draconian occupation of them. They have obligations under Geneva as an occupying power. They have failed again and again and again to discharge those obligations. They don't even try to. Instead, they're dispossessing the people of their land, their homes, their cattle, their orchards, and so forth. So what is it about a right to self-defense that is prevalent here or relevant here? Nothing. Israel has no right to self-defense against people whom they have been oppressing for 30 freaking years, if not longer, under Geneva since the war, since 67. They have been the occupying power, and they have distinct obligations. Even George Bush, my president, talked about this with regard to Iraq. Colin, we have obligations as an occupying power. That's why we stayed around, because nobody else in the administration wanted to stay around. We'd gotten rid of Saddam. Let's leave. Nobody wanted to stay around, but Bush felt like, as a good Christian, he had to live up to the occupying power's obligations. And technically, he was right. Well, Israel has never felt that way. Never. Not a single moment have they felt that way. So why do they have a right to self-defense? There are some reports that Israel